Hi, this is Job from GitLab.com. I'm going to explain you how to create a project and how you can make your first commit to the project. Let's start by making a new project in GitLab. I think I'm going to make a blog for dog lovers. Let's call it Rough Life. Let's give it a description. And now we can choose to set a visibility level. In normal circumstances, you could make it private so that only you can access it and people that you want to give access. You might also choose to make it internal. That means that anyone that is logged into GitLab can actually use uh, and see your code. In this case, I don't want to do it because I'm on GitLab Cloud, so that means thousands of people can see it. If it would be a public project, that would mean that anyone from the outside without logging in could look at the code. So let's create it. And there we go. We now have an empty project here in GitLab. And you know what? GitLab is so nice. It gives you already some preset uh, things to quickly get started. First off, we want to make sure our Git config is well set. In this case, we want to set our name and our email. And I'm just going to take whatever GitLab is recommending us. So we go to our terminal and I simply paste it. There we go. The next start, uh, step is, is to actually push some code there. But since we didn't start yet, let's start by making a repository. You first have to make a folder. Make there, rough life. And now we go into that folder, rough life. And what we want to do now is initialize an em empty Git repository. And it's simply done by typing Git in it. And there we go. From now on, in this folder, Git will track or is able to track any files that exist in there. So the next step is to create a README. A README is always a good start for any project, and in this case as well. I created readme.mbd so we can make a nice markdown file. In fact, let's put something in there. All right, let's save it. Now we started an empty Git repository. So let's see what the status is of that repository. We can type Git status. And we see on branch master, initial commit, and there are untracked files, readme. Of course, the whole point of Git is to track files. So let's start tracking the file. We type Git add readme. If you now type Git status, there we go. Changes to be committed. New file readme. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's commit it. Git commit dash m so we can add a message. And we should add something descriptive here. So let's say first commit add readme. I think that's clear. All right, we did our first commit. We can see it back if you type git log. That's great, but if we go back to GitLab and we refresh, nothing happened. Well, of course not. What we now have to do is we have to add GitLab as a remote to our Git repository and push towards this remote. So let's start by adding the, our repository as a remote. Go to GitLab and we copy the path of our Git repository. Then we say Git remote, add, and then the name of the remote. And usually you call the master one or the most important one origin. Next, we put the path that we copied, enter. We can double check this by typing git remote dash v. And there we see it. All right, last but not least, we type git push, so we can push, dash u, so we set tracking up for the branch, origin, because that's where we want to push, and master, because remember that we were on the master branch. And there we go. We just did a first push to our repository. Let's check it. We refresh, and we see immediately the activity stream. You see that I joined the project that I just made, 
and I push the new branch master to the project ref life. Let's check the files. We see here are all our files, in this case only the readme, and below here you actually see a preview of the readme, or in fact the whole readme, nicely parsed in Markdown. Well, congratulations, you just did your first commit in GitLab.